And just a little bit to introduce him. Uh, so Przemek, uh, he is uh, one of the top graduates from the Warsaw Univers Technical University, where he was studying um, uh, robotics and engi uh, engineering. After this, he went to EPFL, where he worked uh, for a few years as an engineer in a robotics laboratory. And he decided to start a PhD, uh, also in robotics, building awesome robots, like flying robots, uh, drones. And this is not the first robot he, he made, uh, no, sorry, first drone he made. Uh, for the previous one, which you can know as uh, Flyability, right now a company, he was responsible for delivering the um, uh, prototype. Uh, he uh, was awarded in the co contest of uh, innovators under 35 organized by MIT Technology Review, and he won it. And uh, today we, you can really see the, his new product. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Pavel, for the introduction, and uh, thank you very much for the invitation. I would like to today pre uh, present you my new project, my new drone, and my startup called Dronistics. We are living in a new world where we can deliver a lot of different things by the internet. We can send, transport messages, pictures, uh, work documents, money. All this can be done very easily uh, by the internet. We can do it with our smartphones that we have in our pockets. So it's very convenient and fast and we can do it very, very quickly. But still we have problems to send objects because this is something that we cannot send actually virtually. We have problems uh, in order to send any object right now, we have to uh, find the post office, go to the post office, or uh, call a courier that uh, comes to us and uh, takes our thing uh, in order to deliver it. This procedure is time consuming, it's costly, and sometimes even uh, delivery to inaccessible places is impossible. But we at Dronistic strongly believe that delivering things, objects, might be as fast, as quickly, and as convenient as sending messages through WhatsApp or Messenger uh, using our phones. How we can do that? We developed a drone that uh, will help us with that, and the software. The drone, as you can see here, is placed in a cage. The propellers are separated from external environment from us, so it can deliver directly to people, very close to people. It can land even in our hands. The cage uh, allows it to fly very close to obstacles, and moreover, the parcel which is placed here inside is separated, so it's protected. The whole cage works as a big spring, so when there is a collision with the ground, it absorbs the energy, so the parcel is really protected. But if we want to say about uh, delivering things with us as a personal drone, how to basically take this drone with us or keep it, in the, at, keep it at home or in an office? Because this cage and the whole thing is quite bulky. We can fold the whole structure quite easily with one single movement in order to reduce the storage volume by 90%. So after removing the parcel, we can just like this fold the whole drone with one single movement. And then this can be placed in our backpack or in an office uh, drawer or on a shelf. And the same deployment is quite quick. This is in terms of the drone. But how to send the drone because not, uh, we don't know how to pilot it and we don't want to do that. We want to send the drone as easy as we call, for example, an Uber. So we developed an application, a web app application, that allows us to do that. This application you can open on your smartphone, and you can uh, just pick the place where the drone should uh, go, or a person to whom it should uh, deliver things. And everything is done automatically. The drone flies from one point to another uh, fully autonomously using uh, GPS. Moreover, we have uh, obstacle avoidance techniques plus uh, path planning. So basically, the drone defines by itself the best plan, uh, the best path to to go, of avoiding, for example, buildings, etc. 
Moreover, we have all, uh, the, the, the software allows us to uh, check weather conditions. So if it is too windy, we will not fly. We are integrated with the air map, which allows us to uh, be in the future connected to the EU space. So it will, we will have much faster possibility to get authorization to fly everywhere. To validate our, our system, we flew, uh, we did 150 flies last year during the summer, delivering 3D printed parts and uh, PCBs from workshops uh, from EPFL to students, uh, PhD students and employees. This is very, very simple. As you can see, the, the drone was placed in a drawer. We can just take it out, go outside, deploy it. And with one single click, we just send the drone to the place where the thing uh, has to be delivered. What we can, what, where we want to use this? Because right now we cannot fly everywhere and we, we don't want to uh, send all the things everywhere, but we are tackling places that, uh, are, that have restricted areas. For example, harbors, security companies, campuses uh, of big uh, companies or universities, open cast minings on construction sites. In all these places, we can restrict the area and then we can fly uh, in, that, in their place there without having any other drones flying uh, that time. Thank you very much for, the, for watching the presentation. Now I would like to give you a short demonstration how it flies. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have a time for three short questions. Yes. So at the moment, with this uh, configuration of a propulsion system, we can carry 500 grams, and it can fly on the uh, range of two kilometers. But we are improving right now the propulsion system, so uh, I hope it will uh, fly much longer, but I don't want to tell right now uh, how much uh, before we do the, some tests. When we did our tests, birds were not um, interested in it. Uh, they were avoiding it, actually. Uh, in terms of wind, we were flying up to 20 uh, kilometers uh, per hour, uh, but we are working also on a new control uh, algorithms that will uh, allow us to uh, fly with uh, much uh, um, higher speeds of wind. And rain, it will be water uh, resistant uh, in the next version. Right now, uh, every, all the electronics is exposed to uh, any rain, so not yet, but will be. And the last question? Yeah, so here I presented very uh, fast uh, our web application, but uh, the, the idea is that when we deliver to a person, the person basically shows the, the landing spot. So you define where the drone should be. It should be in your garden, in front of your house, or uh, anywhere on top of a building. So then you define where, and then when you, you are in the place uh, of, of uh, uh, delivery, 
you confirm that the drone can land. And that's uh, one of the uh, ways to, to avoid uh, this uh, problem of, of you know, like stealing, etc. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you.